Morton. Hey, what's up? Hello, how are you doing? Very good. <laughs> um, uh, just uh, have a little break and some work outside the farm. Right. What are you doing? I'll, I'll be watching you. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll be watching you, so, so uh, you better behave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Bye-bye. Okay. okay, then. Bye, Morten. Well, we finally got Morten Hilmer as a, as a member of the jury for the Mon Photo, photo Contest. We've, we've got Morten Hilmer. We've got uh, Kathy Moran from National Geographic. And also David W from National Geographic, um, Oriola Amani, and Esther Horvath. Okay, anyway, um, just wanted to show you a video of a session I did in just before days uh, the lockdown, and it was in El Torque de Antequera. I wanted to do a photograph um, a Spanish ibex, but the thing is that uh, that they it was really bad. I didn't didn't um, have any luck. A sort of um, pictures I've taken during all my years going to this place. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy. See you then. Bye. Good morning. I would say, I would say, good and cool morning. And I've just come try to photograph the uh, Spanish ibex. Uh, it's quite chilly, and there's some clouds in in the mountains. I'm just going to move around uh, the lower areas of the um, the natural park. I mean the the Spanish ibex are quite tough animals. I mean they're well prepared for the cold, for the winter, and for the snow, but. I mean, they're not daft. Uh, they like to have a nice sunshine, enjoy the sunshine, the nice heat of the sun. So I just decided to go down a little bit lower. A good way to detect them is by smell. I mean, they're quite, I mean, honestly, they're quite smelly. So with the aid of my, um, my binoculars, um, I have to look and search for for maybe a small group of um, ibex. Sometimes it can be hard to find the group of ibexes, but once you locate them, they're normally they're quite relatively tame. Um, the most difficult part would be to um, to find um, find the animal. further along and if I if I found a, a group of ibex that's fine that would be great it's, it's really bad I mean it's cold it's really windy come on where are you lot don't know why but uh, taking time to show up higher now it's a little bit less windy here and now I can feel I can I can smell the ibex X so let's cross fingers and see if I can find them. Just found a uh, male Spanish ibex which is about no there's more than one there's about one two three of them and they're about just right there. Well, 
it seems to be that uh, going out a little bit higher was the best option because I found another group of ibexes just right over there and they're about 300 meters away but the thing is it's a bit it's a bit uh, rug the terrain as you can see at the back of me and it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to them because I have to go because I have to go all that way through that that um, all that vegetation that hedge well it's going to be a little bit difficult well let's do it then Let's go for it. But first of all, I'm gonna pack the gear. I don't like to carry, I mean, I, I like to carry my gear with me in case there's uh, any opportunity to take a picture. But considering all the um, all the dense vegetation, oh, I don't want to scratch the lens or whatever I stuck with the Nikon D850 and uh, go through the tunnel of trees, branches, and things like that and see if I, if the effort it's uh, worthwhile. You see the just right at the end, over there. No, I think I'm gonna go the other way around. Yeah, I think that's the best best option. Look how amazing, I mean, these rock formations are. These are the trunks you have to look for. This is a scat dung from the Spanish Ibex. They're quite small if you compare to my, my finger, right? So this is what they leave all around the area where they, they roam and move. I mean, this is, like a labyrinth, I mean, all with uh, passage, lot of passageways and uh, cracks. You have to be very careful when walking around here. I don't know where to go, I mean, what to do, where to move through to. I mean, this is, you see, I mean, all around here, rocks, more rocks and cracks. I just had a glimpse of the uh, Ibex and uh, they, ju they just vanished and, and disappeared. I could get this scent of that strong musk smell. state of affairs when this reporter has to go heavily armed to breakfast. <laughs>